What's up? Catch up with me. Y'all, we gotta set it to this place. Wait till I show y'all this place. This place is, they pissed me off. I'ma just wait, but listen. We cleaned out most of everything. We took our furniture out already. Put everything in bags. Fuck buying all those stupid ass boxes. Trash bags, it is. The big one, not the little one. We live like two hours away from our house, two. That's a lot, that's a long way, you know? So we need to have everything fit up in there because we ain't coming back and forth. I forget the kids' bikes and stuff back here. We gotta get the rest of this stuff out of here, like. I'll go a hack, move a hack. Trash bags. All right, have one right there. Anyway, trash bags. Get it ready. <laughs> Open it up, make a hole. If you didn't know, now you know. Okay, you got the suit. I ain't never seen him put one on. He got up in here. And they all got shoes in them, believe it or not. Like, it is so wrong. Huh? <laughs> the last little bit of things that need to go. It's getting full. We still got plenty of room, I think. Man, he pack all this stuff. He a good packer. Yeah, we we got a little bit of room left, and then our bags. That's why we got bags. I feel like bags is better because you could just toss them and throw them on back there, versus the boxes. They gotta be set up a certain way. Look, look, look. Wow, son. You see me? Wow. You see me? Hey. Yeah, all right, boy. Yes. <laughs> no utilities is on, so I can't move into the house till next Friday. Like Main Street renewal, <laughs> they just. And then we signed the whole two year lease. Like, dang, this is what we gonna have to deal with. But like, why would they lease a house to somebody with no utilities on? Like. Y'all should have just changed the moving date. But you know, it is what it is. The money is already gone and they are going to reimburse. But if you know me, you know how I take somebody to court quick. Cause this is a serious case. Cause I don't think like you're supposed to be able to move somebody into a house. And this sound like I hear a fly. I mean, we was moving that stuff in. He did say one was in here. And if I see it, it's they gotta die. But anyway, like I was saying, um, they shouldn't have moved nobody in. They should have just changed our moving date. Period, point blank. But the biggest, the heaviest thing was that damn couch. But we got that in there last night. So today we ain't really have to do too much. Kia, yeah. what you doing? Okay. Right here. I'm gonna take this shit with me. Teak wood, white. This shit smell like teak wood, white. <laughs> Now he want to take the honey pot wipes with him. You funny. <laughs> All right, it's time to get on the road. Huh? I should try to pee before I go. Let me try to pee first. Shut up. <laughs> he fucked up about the honey pot wipes. He need to stop. <laughs> Y'all might want to get y'all some too. Y'all, so I'm driving this U-Haul and it just keep jerking. I mean, I am trying to go like 60 miles an hour at least. And it just keep jerking and shit. Like, come on. This is a whole two hour and 16 minute ride. I'm not trying to, you know, be making it a three hour ride. You feel me? Like, 
And then when I moved to Ohio, and I, I mean, when I moved from Ohio to Georgia with a U-Haul, it was way better than this. They could have gave me a way better U-Haul. For real, for real. Like, it's just, y'all seen that. It just is jerking out of this world. And the people here in Georgia, they just drive crazy. 40. We almost there. Bye-bye. We got 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Not the cars back then, not the cafe. This car finally stopped shaking and shit how it was because I was not feeling that. I finally got it to stop doing that. They must have had this truck sitting. Like, it's two ways over to my house, but this is one way. This is kind of like the back way, I feel like. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. Oh, there it goes. This is like by far like the worst company I ever dealt with. Our lights is not on. They said that they was coming yesterday. I'm irritated. Cause like what the fuck? Keon is the worst person to move with. He literally just winged everything. Everything was winged, right? Then it started raining. Then it started raining. He still, first of all, it started raining. <laughs> we were slipping. We were slipping in the house, right? Slipping in the house. It was raining outside. Slipping in the house. No type of carpet or nothing to, you know, dry our feet off on. Then the damn ramp on the motherfucking U-Haul. Slippery as fuck. Come on, baby. You want to get the couch? Like, basically, come on, baby. You want to slip and fall? No. We're going to have to wait. Come Come on, come on, man. We, we need to get everything. Like, no, we can just wait. <laughs> he calling me a pussy. <laughs> Ziana ain't a pussy cat girl. girl. <laughs> what am I? Hey, what is this? <laughs> oh, my God. Fucking shot. I'm jabbing the shot. <laughs> This Wendy's line is literally Stupid. taking that forever. Be I'm talking about how this fuck better burn the top of my motherfucking goddamn. So I don't need to burn on the top of my mouth. I still got one way home. They need to hurry up. That's a cub over there? A cub. I went 45 minutes ago. A cub. A cub. Oh, I oh. thought you said a cub. I'm like, come on, bro. I know you ain't talking about a bear. <laughs> Only cub in the fucking car is you. Cub, Fuck you. I'm not a cub. <laughs> like, bro. A cub, nigga. I'm talking about a Whatever. Yes, I am so happy that I finally reached 100 subscribers. Y'all have really did y'all's big one. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, y'all really did y'all's big one. And I need to celebrate for this. Because, I mean, why the fuck not? I've been putting in hard work, editing those motherfucking videos, creating thumbnails, trying to come up with ideas, getting used to recording out in public. Like... This is a lot to take in. Why not celebrate? I need a cake or something. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna do a little chit chat while I wash my face and stuff. You see that lighting? Yeah. <laughs> A1. Shout out to my cousin because she be telling me like, oh, your, your videos be so dark. If y'all feel like my videos are so dark, why y'all don't tell me? Why y'all only leaving my one cousin? Out of all the cousins I got, y'all leaving the one to tell me the real and not... I mean, yeah, y'all leaving the one to tell me the real and not the fake. Wow. But I got my light up on here and it's popping. So we're going to have a little chit chat or whatever while I wash my face, okay? And it's going to be about these hairstylists. If you a hairstylist and you don't wash and shampoo hair, stop doing hair. Why ain't a wash and blow dryer included in every one of your, like, if you're a hairstylist for real, why don't you wash and blow dry hair? I just don't get it. Like, that's just something I just don't get. If you're a hairstylist, why don't you wash and blow dry hair? And then we'll have the nerve to say, oh, don't, don't have no oils or nothing in it or it's gonna be an upcharge for me to wash it. <gasps> Bitch, why aren't you washing it in the first place? I don't mind being charged for a wash and blow dry. That's, you missing money out of your pocket.
pocket because you want me to wash and blow dry my own hair. That should be pissing me off. Like, that needs to be stopped immediately. Getting my hair done should include a wash and, bo uh, a wash and blow dry. That's one. Two, I'm not about to pay no $150 or over $100 for no motherfucking quick weave. Because first of all, who's to say that you was an expert at quick weaving anyway and glue ain't going to be stuck in my motherfucking hair? Okay? That's another thing. Let me wash my face. Yeah, I just don't, I don't get it. Like, I really, that's just something I just don't get. And then, like, me personally, I'm kind of cheap. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna beat you. I'm kind of cheap. I mean, my mom did hair. My mom used to do my hair. I used to get my hair done for free. But, um, any braided style, you tell me the price, I'm gonna pay it unless it's just something just outrageous. Like, bitch, I'm, I'm not paying that. Would you pay that? But any braid and style, I'm paying that money for. Sewings? Sewings should just be $100. Sewings should not be, I mean, I say like $130 at the most. $150? No. Immediately? Hard? No. Because what? And then the prices for the wigs, I won't even get into the prices of the wigs. My cousin Jamie, all you gotta do is get in with me. Yeah, her, she was the only one that I let do my wig. When Columbus go tap in with my girl, my cousin Jamie, because she will slay your wig and your wig will be on for more than a week. So it off. It'll be on for longer than one week. I mean, my shit used to last like a month. I'm just being honest. All you gotta do is get in with me. These these websites, the booking websites, they be having smart mouths. If y'all, if your website is getting smart with me or I feel it like getting smart while I'm reading it, I'm not coming to you. Y'all be having too many rules and regulations and then I get to your house or get to wherever and it, it's not up to par how this website is looking. Like, I, I just don't get that either. Bring no extra guests. Bitch, your baby dad and his homies is up in there chilling, playing the game. What you mean don't bring no extra guests in? They trying to holler. I'm scared. I'm scared. The fuck do you mean? Kids be walking around, eating chips all everywhere, Coco Melon all loud, Gracie's corner jumping. I'm trying to get up to twerk and stuff. I got to sit still and get my hair done and shit. Like, it just be a lot going on. It be a lot going on. Your kids need to be gone. Your man need to be gone. Everybody need to be gone when I'm coming up over there. Because I can't bring no extra guests. Guess what? You can't either. You never thought to, like, think about your clients, like, feeling comfortable and nice and stuff like that. Like, just feeling comfortable. Because, first of all, I'm already at your house, so I'm already uncomfortable. Then you got people running in and out, so I'm really, really uncomfortable. Then it be the... Oh, no extra guests. But they got cats and dogs and shit. I ain't agree to... I ain't agree to be around no damn animals. Those quick weave prices need to go down. drop. Y'all just need to reevaluate some stuff. I know some people, you know, they got reasons to, you know, be like that. But some of y'all don't have no reason to be like that. And I'm just being so serious. Those booking websites... I'm gonna reevaluate them. But alright, I'm done for right now. Y'all, I promise I didn't steal these shoes. Look. I promise I didn't steal them. No, I got them from the one that I'm at now. They was $11. They cute. I got my receipt just in case they try to play. Hey, I'm about to wash my hair. And blow dry it because I get it done today, y'all. Why did I confuse my hair appointment? I thought I got my hair done tomorrow, and I gotta go at 8 30. I would have show up at this lady house at 8 30 looking stupid as fuck without my hair being done. So when you wash your hair and you condition it, run a comb through it because it's so much easier when you blow dry it. Okay, hair done, bad bitch activated. <laughs> Y'all love my hair. My appointment was at 8.30. First of all, I almost forgot the appointment. If it wasn't for my cousin telling me, like, I think you said Wednesday. And I was like, oh, shit. When I looked in the text message, it definitely said Wednesday at 8.30. I was about to go today, Thursday at 8.30 and be looking hella stupid. But I like my hair. She braided my hair before. Only 
thing that I don't like, like my hair is neat and it's nice, but the first time she did my hair, my parts was a little bit smaller. Like this was like two. So I had, I feel like I had, well, yeah, I had to have more braids or whatever. And I feel like my ends should have been braided down like all the way. That's my only complaint. Other than that, it was a nice 150 spent. But I'll probably go to the Africans or something next time because it was a little time consuming. And now I stay like two hours and 30 minutes away. So I'm not about to be driving for no braids. Not. I can't because it's already a two hour and 30 minute drive. I get in the shower, finish packing up this house, and I'm going to the new house. I'm out of Augusta, baby. I'm out. Oh, hey, I'm in the new house. I love the high ceilings. Like, that is my favorite part of the house. So I can yell down here, my kids down here playing, being too loud. I yell, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? <laughs> but I love the house. I stayed the night in here for the first time last night. It was nice, it was quiet. I mean, I did go to Walmart. And first of all, why do the Walmart close at 10 p.m.? Like, at least 11, like 10 o'clock. I was in there at 9, it was like 9.30. It was like, attention, shoppers. We are closing at 10. Like, damn, y'all close at 10? Where I'm from, we at least close at 11. I must be kind of up in the hood. But my neighborhood is good, so what else is there to get understood? <laughs> I'm a little rapper or whatever. I'm so mad because the Wi-Fi, they patched up all the hoes. Like, I hate when they patch up the hoes, like, you know, like, I hate, why do y'all patch up the hoes? Like, at least leave one little cord jack so somebody can get some Wi-Fi. In this day and age, y'all know we need Wi-Fi. We stream, so, like... Why would y'all patch all of them up? So now I have to wait for a technician to come out. Then I went to go and get my Wi-Fi box from Xfinity. They didn't even scan it in. So when I bought it to the house and was trying to plug it up, they're like, um, we can't find it. We can't find it. Luckily, I don't have no jack either because I really would have been mad. But so I was on my phone or whatever. And like I was looking to see like if somebody's Wi-Fi I could use to so connect my TV to it. So I have found that um, Xfinity, like I have to pay $10 for a little pass. And with that little pass, I was able to connect my TV. Like, I guess it's like Xfinity Anywhere Hotspots or whatever. I mean, they did give me out of $10, but at least I was able to connect my TV and my phone and, you know, watch TV instead of going to sleep in a dark house by myself. This is my kitchen. This is one of my little dining rooms. This is like when you first walk through the house. I got a bathroom right here. And let me show y'all upstairs. Going up the stairs. This is my um, stepdaughter's room. This is a nice big open space right here. Like I really want to do something with this right here. I want it to be cute. This is the extra room. I think I'm gonna do like nails or something in this room or like make it like a content room. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. Cause I think it's gonna be a content room. This is the other bathroom. This is the kid's bathroom basically. And then this is my kid's room. I love their room because it got like I feel like it's so much open space up in here. I, I like it. I like it. But yeah, that's the new house. I cannot wait to decorate. Like, so, so. Can't wait to decorate. I don't know what I'm going to be doing today. But for the most part, I got, like, everything, like, unpacked and everything. So, I don't really have to stress about, oh, I need to find this. I need to find that. Because... Maybe everything is like damn near unpacked. But I do have to go up to Xfinity today. And I think I want to go to Delantra if you fancy, but Dollar Tree if you're not fancy. <laughs> so I can find like some little cute stuff for like the little bathroom, you know, the kitchen. Just, you know, some little cheap, cute, quick little stuff so my house don't look as basic, you know? If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. 
cheers to my 100 subscribers, y'all. Y'all, thank y'all. I got 101 now, but thank y'all for subscribing. I know it's only up from here. I love y'all so much, and I really appreciate y'all for tuning in with me on this journey, and yeah, thanks. Cheers to me. Y'all, I'm so happy. Thank y'all for everything y'all have been doing. Um, I really would like if y'all interact more because like I, I like talking to people. I'm a people's person. So if you interact with me, I'm going to interact with you. But yes, thank y'all so much here. Stay tuned because more stuff will be dropping. I just moved into a new place too. So more videos going to be coming out. I'm not working right now, so I'm really trying to focus on my content while I'm not working. So, yeah. Thank y'all.